Just come out of Wharf Road Police Station. Deep Pet Nam. So I want to talk about the IMEI number of your phone. And I'm not happy the way police are obtaining it. But there's this new thing they say now, um, which get you startled. They say, oh, we believe that your phone may be stolen, so we may have to uh, further arrest you for the offense of um, robbery or handling stolen goods. Um, but then you'll start panicking, saying, oh, it's my phone, and adamant that you've done nothing wrong. And then um, the officer will say, well, we can easily just check your IMEI number right now and just find out if the phone is stolen or not. And then you may say, I don't want to give the pin to my phone. Then they say, yeah, you don't have to. You can open the phone in front of us. And then um, we just, you just type in a code into your, um, into your dialing code, into your dialing um, keypad and push hash. And then your IMEI number will come up. From this number, they will be able to see if your phone is stolen and who it's registered to. That's fair enough. But what they don't tell you is they apply for a production order with that with that number to the network, which always gets granted, and then they can access all text messages from that phone, all cell sighting, what locations that phone has been. Um, all incoming outgoing calls that have been made and also the telephone number that's been used inside that phone now this happened the other day in custody I see them say the same thing to someone and um, they got the they got the IMEI number from them had a client the other day he never even gave the number to the police but when they did um, search his house on a section 18 search he had the box of the, the that the phone came in is a brand new phone and the IMEI number is on the box so from that alone they accessed all of his text messages found out what his number was and there was some serious hot messages on there regarding whatever it was regarding and he got charged so do not provide that number to the police until you've spoken to your legal representative also even if they ask you to open the phone in custody and then they're going to lock the phone afterwards a lot of the time they have a look at the pin that you're putting it and um, the, the pin that you're entering and also all of custody is cctv and visual and audio so be careful be safe be legal